So I love old tech and I recently picked up this ridiculous ISO CRT monitor which I wanted to get for some videos and it reminded me of something which I've always wanted to do which is to make a sleeper PC. It's basically when you take a really high spec computer and you put it in a case of like an old computer. So from the outside it looks super old and boring but it's actually like a really high end computer. That's such a fun idea. It's something I've wanted to do for a really long amount of time. So I went online and I got this. <laughs> this is the Evercase something. I don't know what the model number is. Basically, we're gonna be putting a high-end gaming computer in that case. Um, my original plan was to get a old PC, take all the parts out and put mine in. I thought this would be a lot easier. This is standard ATX, so technically everything should fit, but I've never in my life built in a case that old, so I... <laughs> I'm sure there's gonna be problems. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. So yeah, today we're gonna to be building a sleeper PC. Okay, so this case is much bigger than like any case I've had. I've pretty much always had MATX PCs. So this is gonna be a really weird uh, jump for me. In terms of front panel, <laughs> we have microphone, headphone, and I think USB 1.0. It might be 2.0. These would come out and you could put DVD drives in. This is where floppy disks would go. I think maybe in the future I might get some, like not necessarily to use, but just to kind of fit the style of it. In terms of rear IO, the power supply goes up here instead of at the bottom. And what I find the most like funny about this case is you know how like on most modern PCs, you have your front panel audio, like your microphone or headphone. And then inside, that would be a cable that goes into the motherboard. On this one, um, you <laughs> the front panel is literally just pass-throughs that plug into the motherboard. And I just find that so funny. Press these green tabs. Oh God. And here we have inside. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, this is the, the audio cable. One thing I found really interesting is it came with an IO shield. I don't know for what motherboard, maybe around this time, every PC had the same layout these are front panel connectors which have way more than i've ever seen yeah this is gonna be this is gonna be an interesting case to build in here i have my motherboard it is the b450 d3sh v2 i think uh we have a ryzen 7 5800x this is a one terabyte wd blue uh, m.2 ssd okay <laughs> So I'm gonna have to manually install my motherboard standoffs, which just come in like a bag of all these screws. Um, yeah, okay. There we go. Okay, motherboard is in. It looks like all the standoffs line up. So let's get those screwed in. And we have a lot more space because this is an MATX board in an ATX case. Whilst I'm getting this motherboard screwed in, I thought I'd kind of update you guys on where I've been, why I haven't really been uploading, and what my plan is going forward. So the main reason why I haven't really been active is because there's been a lot of things happening in my life, like kind of all at once. Firstly, I graduated university. I got the highest grade that you could get, and I'm really happy with that. And since graduating, I've finally gotten a job as a software engineer, which is something I've had a dream about most of my life. That being real now is really nice, and I'm really happy that I finally have this. But as a result of those things, I really had to take a step back from YouTube and from a lot of the creative things that I like doing. In addition to that, there's been a lot of changes in like my personal life. Um, I had to cut off a lot of really negative people. And in general, I've kind of been focusing on just being a better person and just being happier, which has been really, really difficult for me. Um, but I'm in a really good place right now, like I'm really positive and I'm excited to start making content again, which is something I've always loved doing. So I don't want anybody thinking like I just abandoned the channel or I don't care about any of the support. Every single person that has interacted with my videos in any way, thank you so much. It's meant the absolute world to me. Seeing people type in my Discord, even when I'm not replying, just knowing that there's people that still kind of care about my stuff means everything to me. So thank you so much. Those of you that do that will know who you are. Really means a lot to me. The other thing that's kind of been stopping me from making content is really just the FPS genre. Like it got really, really stale. Um, Apex got really boring. Overwatch got really boring. I don't care about the finals. I don't think it's a good game. I don't think Counter-Strike 2 is any good. It just feels like we're all kind of waiting for the next game. I didn't want to just make fake content where I pretend to care when I actually don't. I'd rather make things I'm genuinely passionate about. I felt like I've been very restricted in the kind of content I can make. 460 gigs of 3200 megahertz vengeance RGB RAM. So this is going to look kind of stupid in this computer.
Okay, so before I put in any SATA cables or drives and stuff, like I just want to test that this is actually going to pose. So next up is the 3070 Ti Vision OC. So we're going to put this in, plug in the cables, and we're going to power it on like this and just see if the computer turns on. Um, and let's, let's see. So, oh my God, don't want to knock that over. All right. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, like, there's no reason why it shouldn't post. This just looks so stupid. Like, I'm, I'm excited to see what this is going to look like when it's all finished. <laughs> okay, so here we are. I've put the drives in. Um, I have absolutely no idea how to mount them, so they are literally just freely <laughs> in here which is not a good idea, but I mean, hey, they're in there. Um, all our cables are plugged in. I've tried to cable manage it, but like, this isn't like a normal case where the other panel comes off and you can put your cables between the side and the other panel. Like all the cables have to be on this side. So trying to find places for them is, is like next to impossible. But that being considered, like it doesn't look the worst. It could definitely be a lot cleaner. Um, but I've got it hooked up to the monitor and we're gonna find out if she turns on. Oh my God, this is so stupid. <laughs> like, I'm not surprised that it posed. Like there's nothing wrong with these parts. It's just really, really stupid to see a computer like this in a case like this. So with the side panel on, the only thing that gives it away is this RGB fan, but I kind of like that. Like I like that from one angle, you can kind of tell that it's a nice computer, but wow, you would not suspect that this has a 3070 Ti and a 5800X and like 32 gigs of RAM. Um, so yeah, let's, let's test out in some games. So I'm really happy with how this PC turned out and it's exactly how I imagined it. I've got some plans in the future for things I want to do to it. Like I said, I want to get some DVD drives, maybe some floppy disk drives. Um, but I'm excited to show you guys a setup I'm going to be working on, which is going to involve that CRT monitor. I'm going for a full retro theme, and there's been some pictures on my Twitter already. Um, I'm actually really liking the CRT for gaming, and I'm really excited to share with you guys how it is. I want to thank everybody who's watched the video. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed it, please consider giving it a like and a subscribe. I have my Discord linked in the description, and here's to not too long before my next video.